What's up, YouTube? Isaac Strait here with the weekend update on my CLF position and key supports I found for this company and my feelings on why you should consider adding this to your watch list. Now remember, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any asset, but to add to your watch list. I will talk about my current play and future plays with CLF. Now take a moment and subscribe and like the video or don't. I mean, heck, you're lost. Now, let's talk, take a closer look at what uh, I think about Cleveland Click in this ticker CLF. Um, is CLF stock a buy in my book? Yes, it is. Okay, I believe it is going to be um, a future long term. Um, I think it's going to be about a, you know, if it can, maybe if it can bag around, we'll see. This is, um, give you guys a quick story on why I believe this is um, going to be a strong long term before I go any further on what I found. Um, I've always been a firm believer that if you don't understand what you're trading or to trade basically what you know. So about six months ago, um, I quit working on an automotive technician and I jumped into the steel industry because I was kind of curious on it. I wanted to learn what was going on with it. And I, you know, I, I knew that the U.S. steel um, prices had been dirt cheap for a very, very long time. I mean, they were talking about people who are building building homes out of it because it's cheaper than buying wood, which, you know, it's kind of crazy if you think about it. And, you know, so I was kind of intrigued. I'm like, let me, let me see what's going on over here. Let me see. So then um, I started going over there. I mean, I, I knew how to weld. I just didn't know how to do, like, you know, um, engineering welds. And I didn't know how to read blueprints. Well, you know, I caught on pretty quick. They had me running the shop. Um, I was building big buildings then. I was 50 by 50 by 50 footers all the way up to 100 by 100 foot that were like three foot stories tall. They were, this stuff was crazy. And I mean, but while I was working there, I mean, if you watch my last videos, um, I would tell you that the price of, um, of steel was going up when I went to go pick up, like after the first month, um, our, our distributor told me, he's like, oh, well, we need to let your boss know that, um, charging an extra dollar per ring of foot and I'm like I didn't really understand what ring of foot was but I'm like okay whatever it has a ring of foot <laughs> so like I told my boss about it and he was like what do you mean what the heck and then I was like oh yeah but by the way he said in a couple more months they're gonna bump it up another 20 30 percent so you know long story short I'm using this because this is how I feel that CLF is a good long-term position because now I understand the company I know how it works I see the need for it, and with Cleveland Cliffs here, I mean, let me get into the fundamentals that I, or the information that I found for you guys. That even it even um, it strengthens my uh, my thesis on this one, okay, it, to the fullest. Okay, so money managers were were getting more optimistic. Okay, I remember that they 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 said that the steel for Americans was never going to go nowhere because we've been dealing with China for so long and ex exporting stuff in it or importing stuff. You know what I mean? The number of long hedges, hedge funds, bets moved up by five lately, okay? Cleveland Cliff, Inc., CLF, was in the 27 hedge funds portfolio at the end of December, okay? The all-time high for this uh, statistic is 35. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, though, okay? Our calculation also showed that the CLF ain't among the 30 most popular stocks amongst hedge funds, okay? It really isn't. There were 22 hedge funds in my data brief with CLF positions at the end of the third quarter. Okay, hedge funds' reputations as steward investors has been tarnished in the last decade, as their hedged returns couldn't keep up with the unhedged returns of the market. <laughs> my research has shown that hedge funds' small cap stock picks managed to beat the market by double digits annually between 1999 and 2016. Do some research, guys. Yeah. Do some research or you'll find don't be lazy. But the margin of our performance has been declining in recent years, okay? Nevertheless, we were still able to identify and advance a select group of hedge funds holding that, that outperformed the S&P 500 ETF by 124% percentage points since March 2017. That's crazy. That's, that's, that's pretty good right there. Okay. Now, I leave no stone unturned when looking for the next uh, great investment idea, okay? That's why I went in there and I learned in on this one. I'm like, I need to understand this, okay? Because for 
For example, the auto, auto parts business is a recession resistance business, okay? We are look, taking a closer look at this discount auto parts stock. I did not know that until recently, okay? Look, I used to be an automotive technician. Well, I mean, I guess you could still say I am. You know, I work on diesels. I work on Mercedes cars. I work anything with an engine, baby. I got it, man. If I don't know how it works, I'm going to figure it out, okay? Because I taught myself how to work on diesels. So, I mean, I could take a turbo part and rebuild that thing, and it'll look better than it did from a from Ford, baby. Six O's, you hit me up, man. I know some stuff. <laughs> okay. But I didn't realize that CLF is part of... Um, a few years, like about a few years ago, they actually have part of their uh, a micro cap stock that is part of auto parts. Yes, they manufacture or they uh, they supply the metal, the sheeting, and everything for the guys that actually make all these parts for all the the rotors for for everything. Okay, I'm talking about this is this, I seen this and I was like, this is nice right here. So before I get into that. that I want there's a remember there was a total of 27 other hedge funds that, tra that tracked by the insider. So we're bullish on this stock. It changed to 23 from the previous quarter. Here I'm gonna show you guys a chart right here. I want to see show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. See this is the chart I'm talking about right here. This is number of hedge funds with CLF positions. So you can see how. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I mean come on, look at this. It's nice right here. You know we're about we're we're about to hit a breakout right now. Let me get back to you guys and see my beautiful face over here, okay? <laughs> okay, right there. Yeah, find it. Okay. You can check out the changes in hedge fund uh, sentiment towards CLF over the last 20 qu 22 quarters, okay? So you ask, is CLF a good stock to buy? <laughs> Among these funds, Fisher Asset Management held the most valuable stock stake in Cleveland Cliffs, Inc., okay? Which was worth 250 million at the end of the qu first fourth quarter. Okay, on the second spot was Citadel Investment Group, which amused 124.6 million worth of shares. Yes, you guys heard me, Citadel, Citadel, whatever you want to call them, right here, baby. Okay, this is the one you guys want to be a part of. Okay, Citadel's in on this one, baby. Key Square Capital Management, LMR Partners, and D.E. Sean were also very fond of this stock, becoming one of the largest hedge fund holders of the company. In terms of the portfolio ways assigned to each position, Key Square Capital Management uh, uh, located the biggest weight in Cleveland Cliffs, around 14.93% of its 13F portfolio. Uh, Encompass Capital Advisor is also relatively very bullish on on, on the stock. Okay, you're making 1.382 percent of its 13F quarter portfolio to CLF, baby. Yeah. As industry-wide interest jumped, key money managers were leading the bulls herd. Okay, Key Square Capital Management, managed by Scott Bassinet, initiated the biggest position in Cleveland Cliffs. Key Square Capital Management had 62.2 million invested in the company at the end of the quarter. David Greenspan Slate Path Capital also initiated a 7.3 million position during the quarter. The other funds with brand new CLF positions are Lewis Beacons, Morris uh, Global Investments, Paul Marshall, and Ian. Oh, wow. Ian Wakos of Marshall Lace LLP and Greg uh, Engineer Gate Manager. Let's go over hedge fund activity and other stocks. I'm not really going to waste your guys' time with all this, right? Okay, they're messing with Lemonade. They're doing uh, Grubhub, uh, HLLL. Okay, as you can see, these stocks had an average of 20.7 hedge funds with bullish positions. And the average amount invested in these stocks were $460 million. That, the, that figure was $683 million in CLF. His case, Grubhub Inc. is the most popular stock in this ta table. On the other hand, P PLC is the least popular on with only five bullish hedge fund positions. Cleveland Cliff is not the most popular stock in this group, but hedge funds interest in is still above average, okay? Remember that. Our overall hedge fund settlement score for CLF is 
I give it a six, like a, I give it a seven point five, baby. Shoot, man, that's good enough for me. I'm all I'm just running. <laughs> but I mean, no, I mean that, that's good to me. I mean, uh, you know, I mean they're part of the automotive parts and stuff. I mean, CL. The good thing with CLF, you got to remember. Let's talk about the CEO they had at CLF, cause that dude, man, that CEO, if they're gonna end up writing, um, they're gonna end up writing one of those Harvard case studies on the CEO, dude, cause I mean, not only does he care about his employees, he cares about the environment, he is improving their carbon footprint, and also caring about turning a profit, baby. This guy, I mean, what more do you need? I mean, he's he changed the whole company's outlook. Like, he, man, this dude, he's awesome, man. This. this they, I hope, I hope someone talks to this guy pretty soon, man. This CLF CEO, man, he, he's he's legit. I mean, and you got to remember, CLF is up six hundred percent. It's very strong. And the number on, one thing I like is no one's talking about it, baby. Don't miss out on this opportunity, and let's get in on it, okay? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you found this useful, but most importantly, entertaining. Don't forget to share, smash that subscribe or. Uh, Smash that like, snap that subscribe, and on your way out, don't forget to ring my bell. I'll catch you guys at the next video.